A little bit of a tweet from Lurpus pointing out that Get Right has been a monster in this tournament and that both mm -hmm. teams play Cobblestone pretty well. I absolutely agree, Tommy. It's good to know that you're watching the game, so I'd be surprised if anything else was the case. He is eternal, man. I have no idea how he manages it. Yeah, hardworking man for sure. Grenades are raining in. One of them is going to land on Exist, Ooh. and another one too. I love it. Double HE. Need to see more of that. They, you hold close to Broken Wall so often on CT side. Love to see that. We see it on Inferno and Banana quite a bit, but, you know, double HE to Broken Wall. Does a little bit of damage to Exist. Softens them up, brings them down to 12. And while Cloud9, they're pacing themselves here. No ultra aggression from them in the second round after the pistol. I disagree with the spy from NIP, but I say that and Draken gets a kill with the, with the scout, so maybe they're going to prove me wrong. I still would have preferred for them to have a full buy in the fourth round. I, I, I'm really... I'm tilting more towards the Astralis kind of buy. North mm -hmm. were doing it too when they were still in the tournament. Yeah. Um, let's see what happens here. A lot of Molotovs raining in to try and clear out everything and drop. I like the fact that Adam called it Drop Zone as well. Great movie. There we go. Rez with the dig. Shroud is there to trade. The no headshot, or the, rather the no helmet, will eventually come back to bite you if you're facing SMGs. The run and gun there, but Scott somehow survives. Oh. Exist not going to get it either. Skadoodle, two big kills with the MP7. But what about Forest? There are no more Molotovs left. He's just hiding back there with the chickens. Going to creep out. Bomb. Oh, he saw him. He saw the shoulder. Shroud, if he hadn't seen that, he would have gone for the headshot as well. Forest taking Shroud down. Oh my god, they weren't expecting this. Now, automatic versus Forest. He's got the rifle. Nine seconds left. Forest needs one more headshot. Automatic trying to run him down. He gets the shot right through the chicken coop. Oh my god, the replay of that is going to be magnificent. And Cloud9 will win the round. Almost looked like Forest about to steal that. What? Please, I hope to see the replay of that. This is so well done from Forest. Shroud. Huge face palm after losing this one. He knows he had that in the bag, but Forrest, man, he's been on point with the Deagle so far this tournament. And we don't get to see Automatic's moment of glory there, but what a save from him. That would have been a disaster had Cloud9 lost it. It looked like that was just a bullet jumping up out of the, out of the actual crosshair. Very intense. Now we've got the five-man stack on B, which is great with the flashbang even better, but I don't think it's going to matter here. They should be holding on to it. Forrest gets a headshot on one, and actually Draken picking up one with the USB. Oh. Cloud9, why are they losing so many players? Finally, they pick up the bomb and run away, but that's, I mean, great utility used in the beginning, but they could have thrown way more grenades to clear out that site. Yeah, yeah, look at all the utility that they died with. And they still have three nades on nothing. Skadoodle has the smoke. And they've been spotted. They've been spotted already. Draken is here. Forrest has rotated over to Balcony as well. And he's going to get that deadly deagle in play. He's been hitting shots already. Two kills this round in the anti eco. And he's going to catch a man in the back. Nothing. Will find the kill. But Draken is there to trade. And it's all on Skadoodle now to pull off yet another 1vx clutch. Rez has got no armor, but he's picked up a Mac 10. And I don't think Skadoodle has realized that he's already down. He's going to go for the plant. Rez is right in front of him. Going to be running in. Trying to take a shot. And he picks it up. NIP will win the round in spite of having nothing at all. One flashbang, though, and that set off a lot of confusion. Forrest with another Deagle headshot. What a start for NIP. Just trying to bowl forward, being stubborn. Cloud9 it comes back to haunt them. Running headlong into the stack, and it works out perfectly for NIP. And well, NIP now, four towards B. Are they expecting some kind of desperation rush once again here? The nades are going to be going out, though. Smoke on drop to try and stumble things. But no, this is going to be slow, measured play here from Cloud9. A single AK It's really what they have to work with. Stewie has gone for the scout as well. But it's a fully bought up NIP that they will be dealing with in just a moment's time. I'm not sure what the rush was for Cloud9 in the last round. Just committing so heavily to that B bomb site. The nerves, could've, man. Could have lurked around, could have thrown more grenades, could have done any number of things. Could have found a shot on Exist with the Scout if you're Stewie. Not a bad way to open up a round. Four versus five, and Stewie's picked up the bomb, making his way towards the B side. It's just Res and Draken here. Draken goes down automatically, will find a kill. Res in a lot of trouble. Gets shot in the face with a tree as well, and now he's gonna get run down. Oh, it's going to be one of those matches, I can tell. Two versus four as Cloud9 have next to nothing, and they still get the kill there. Nothing turning 180 on Get Right. And Forrest did a one versus four. Yeah, Get Right was next to nothing as well. I saw how that went. 
<laughs> what is this? And you're right, this is just the chaos situation. And we aren't even in overtime, Anders. It's not like they all have 16,000. But we've seen more than enough from the, of this kind of play from Cloud9 throughout the group stage versus Na'Vi. Unbelievable stuff there. Just back and forth. Skill was the main decider in that match. And while it's looking like it's about to be the same thing here, nothing. Fired up, two kills. And this is a huge victory here for Cloud9, not allowing Nip to run away with it on CT side cobble. You still expect to see teams on T side come out ahead in the, in the rounds at the end. 9-6 is what you're really aiming for here if you're on uh, Cloud9 at this point. Now, have NIP gone mad and do they want to go for another buy? Yeah, Forrest saves that. Rez could buy an M4 with everything pretty much and everyone else would just be on pistol and armor. So I would say it's a huge risk to try and do that and that's what they're gonna do. Rez not even picking up the M4 goes straight for the AWP. Wow. Yeah, not a fan of this, to be fair, not a fan. I mean, the other route is the safe one. This is the one that says we want to win this game. Like, we're, we're, this has got to be real damn close if they can make it. AWP on res. I'm wondering why he wouldn't have swapped it out to Draken. There's a leak. Got, got some armor as well. Yeah, he's got some armor and he's got a deagle. He could have just traded the deagle over to res. Right, last cannon AWP. We'll see what res is capable of here. Not going to be given the chance to miss a shot, that's for sure. And Forrest with the AWP. What? Well, not with the AWP. Forrest, I have it. With the M4. On plateau. And they're getting that boost set up. Is Automatic going to get caught by this? Point blank with the CZ75. Get right will be lethal, sure enough. Spots him, and I like it. Doesn't overcommit. Get right has the advantage in that situation just because he's only showing his head. Automatic showing his whole body. That opens him up to an easy spray from the CZ. Just to force them back. Stewie getting tired of waiting. He'll be running right into Get Right. C said to his face, "We'll take him out." Is it really going to swing back the other way? They're starting to make their way onto the A bomb site. Get Right goes down. Automatic actually doing a good job holding on. Rest missing the flick, and he's in a world of trouble right now. They're right next to him. They're going to go for a bit of a grenade, and nothing instead will take him down with the AK-47. So a three on three, yes, but. The bomb is down and Cloud9 have a pretty big lead here. They're covered, but there's a man on underpass. Exactly, Forrest with the M4A1, pounces, catches Skadoodle looking the wrong way. And now can exist, create some space for his teammate. Forrest continues to press forward to the top of the ramp. He's got eyes on the site now. Exist is going to have to step in here to help him out. Forrest just needs to check the angles that are watching Connector, and then Exist can actually get into the fight with him. Did he see defeat? I think Forrest did. He's gonna go for a bit of a peek there, taking down automatically. He's shrouded in a one on two and he drops to exist. There's still a kit there on Forrest, so it's gonna be time for the defuse as well. It swings back the other way. The madness has officially begun here at ESL1 Cologne. Two, three is the scoreline. Cloud9, they get the bomb down. They are for sure gonna be buying. NIP surviving just two members. There's no reason why they wouldn't do this. Trout even had the warning of the shadow on the ground. He saw Exist coming and he still misses the shot. Shroud might be getting just a little bit tilted here after these few rounds where he hasn't been able to come through for his team. Frustrating, especially given the fact that we've seen some strong performances from him so far this tournament and at the PGL qualifier. So, I mean, we'll have to see. He's going to have to show some true resolve here. Anti rush nades going on from NIP. And it's Rez this time on plateau. He is backed up by Exist, who isn't too far behind him. Very early, Molotov's going out though. That might be a bit of a sign here for NIP to get ready to welcome Cloud9 with both arms wide open on the B site. There are so many people raiding for rest on the other side of the smoke. It's very hard with the M4A1 to get many kills in this situation. Flashes are in, and he gets nothing at all. Shroud will take him down instead, and now they're making their way onto the plateau. A lot of counter grenades are coming out here, and in the middle of all the chaos, Forrest is going to pick up a kill on Shroud, leaving it as a 4 on 4. Forrest looking for the flick, but not able to get it. Get right pushed up, and the UMP gets one and nearly a second, leaving it in a 2 on 2. Existent Draken trying to see if they can come in here and actually clutch the round once again. Cloud9, they're so close to bringing it back in their favor. Scott doesn't have an op in this sort of situation. He has hit shots with the AK before, saw it on cash. Draken looking to see if he can force him out. And Nip making good use of their time right now. Draken trying to bait some kind of response. Skadoodle finds a headshot on Exist. They know where Sky is, but they have no idea where nothing is playing from. And Draken now in danger of getting pinched. Nothing has actually pushed forward aggressively. And Draken, here's the steps. Will he have a way out? Misses the shot, and he will get chased down. Not by nothing, but by Skadoodle in the end. These rounds couldn't be closer, Anders. Somehow, we keep winding up in these 2v2s where it's just coming down to the finest margins. And it's actually Cloud9 that call for the tactical timeout, even though NIP don't really have the economy to keep buying. So in this early struggle, Cloud9 come out quite far ahead.
but still, they want to reset it. They know they have all that adrenaline. They've got it all running, so got to gotta get, get everyone on a stable level here. There wasn't that much time in the 2v2, but you got to remember the kit was on, on the side itself. Forrest died there, so they would have been able to pick up the kit if they'd got closer. Not going to be able to make it this time. 4-2 the scoreline. And um, what a battle in the beginning. Oh, man, an IP. No way. No way. This can't be real. You guys can see it. They're going for the force. They're Four risking it. Four HE grenades. They want, to, they want to explode Cloud9. Well, there have been a lot of the, the B plays. Not so much drop action from Cloud9. It's been a lot of plateau. You get four HEs onto plateau. There isn't a whole lot of room to dodge the shrapnel. And sure enough, four players heading over towards that B site. Forrest is alone, solo on A. The Cloud9, they're not set to walk into any traps. And one of the HEs has already been used by Forrest. Oh, what is this? A boost. Wait, can they get the HEs into... Yeah, they, they can probably throw them over the wall. I mean, it's a good idea. Does a fair bit of damage automatic. Different time and place, that could have been uh, a bit of a play. That is so sick. I am just so happy right now. Well, so are Cloud9. A lot of utility being wasted. Now, they don't know if NIP have armor or not yet. That's the big thing, and they don't know if they, what else they have. They obviously know there was some utility, and they can guess the economy must have been low. NIP are risking a huge part of this first half by buying in this round. I'm Again, slightly look, nervous. Cloud9, they're walking into the trap. Three players stacked on A right now. It's going to be a rinse and repeat here, Anders. NIP, they are set. Forrest with the Deagle. An automatic. He is alone over on B. This is going. There's no time to peel back for Cloud9 either. They can't make up the. They have to commit to the A site now. They're gonna walk right into it. Get right and shot in the back and fantastic entry frags. Unfortunately for NIP, they aren't able to make it work this time. Just excellent entry fragging there from Cloud9. But there was definitely some kind of parallel universe where Cloud9 walked right into the blender again. Great grenade uses as well, and just obviously catching the timing of the first player. They're really making a big difference. So Cloud9. Going to be up to five rounds, but it, it isn't just that. If it was just 5-2, maybe it would be all right. It's the fact that NIP don't have any money. That's a really big issue. Yeah. Not going to be able to buy this round. Next round, they obviously will have more for round loss bonus, so they'll be up to like 2,200 or whatever it is. And um, then maybe they could still buy, but it, it really won't be an impressive buy either. So... Yeah, a big risk here. A it's chance for Cloud9 to really sweep this map. Yeah, especially because they didn't get a single kill that round at IP. And now Cloud9, they're going up against a hard ego. They know it. And so this is going to get nasty. Cloud9 have a chance to really walk away with a very strong economy now and a lot of confidence. Double HE's a broken wall once again, looking to do the damage. There's the Molotov, and this is so similar. They're walking right into the stack again, and tracking this time with the Deagle is going to find the first kill. A lot of confidence on Cloud9. They see that all the people are there. They still want to fight it. Forrest alone with the USP, though, in a one versus three. The bomb is hilariously dropped on top of the box, but they should be able to find him, no problem. Jeez. Great shots coming in from Forrest, but still a round for Cloud9, making it 6 2. So we move into the ninth round. And here's the buy for NIP again. I mean, it's just so discouraging. Two UMPs, three M4s. There is a kit and some grenades, but man. The Swedes are in trouble. Yeah, they are. Very much so, yeah. This, is a, this to me just speaks of a confidence play, I guess, from Cloud9, right? We'll walk into your stack. We'll still beat you. Just nibbling away at NIP's ability to hit the shots. But we'll see. Now's the buy round. You're right. We have the AWP in play for Skadoodle, though. No answer on NIP's side of things. And once again, Cloud9 just taking up positions all across the map. Slow and steady from them. Although Stewie is about to walk into a bit of a sad situation here. Draken holding close. If he gets a kill on Draken, though, that's most of NIP's utility gone. And a kit dropped in an impossible place. They smoke to go up. Get right, someone getting a kill on Samantha. They're running right through, and Draken picks up one. And nothing continuing. Not realizing there's a second player here in Forest. Shroud has got him boxed in on the other side, but he's on nine health, so that won't be an easy fight. Forrest trying to see if he could get the fight on the other angle, picking out the pistol, looking for the shot, but, but almost could have maybe taken down Skadoodle. One versus three. They do that early enough. 
Are you kidding me, Scott? What is that shot? Not gonna be able to get the follow-up, though. Man! Unbelievable that he gets that kill on the man on ramp. But also equally unbelievable that Stewie decides, hey, it's a good idea to flash my way through the smoke right now. Jacket's never gonna get caught off guard by that. You can hear the pin getting pulled. He was close enough. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that I thought Draken's play being that close would have been when he hears the sound of the grenade, he rushes, you know? Mm. But And Cloud9 were ready for that. That's why they had the, the, the second guy throw the Molotov and the first guy just holding. It's kind of smart play for Cloud9, but um, running through the smoke, maybe not so much. Tough break. But there's that economy coming through, shining through here for Cloud9. Six to three, and they have the money for the full buy. Hey. Wow. Nipple know what these are. Now, which variation will it be? Because these grenades can be used for a B push, or they can go for the A, uh, a variation instead. It works both ways. Exist caught sleeping for a moment. Res will get the one refrag, but the fire eventually consumes him in three versus four right now. NIP, will they take another risk to try and bring this one back? It looks like Get Right is exactly in that frame of mind. Is he going to go for the full peak? Oh, man. Three survives. Wow. Bass? That must have gone through the wall toward that is the only explanation. Unbelievable. Well, get right. It's on you. He's going to pick up the first kill there on nothing. Going for a bit more. They're all coming for him. And that's a nice play from Skadoodle. Peeking that angle, crouching into it. Forest in a one versus three. Disastrous here for NIP. They're going to be economically reset. And out of Cloud9 are now on route to getting, you know, 10 plus rounds in the first half. Yeah, I love this though from Forrest. Time is of the essence. He's gonna pull a fast one on him. He's looking for the headshot and he does spot automatic. Automatic's like, hold on, let me show you how it's done real quick. Whips around, hits the instant headshot on Forrest and ends the dreams there for NIP. We've got selfies and everything going on in the crowd. Caught sleeping. Can't be doing that in the middle of the game, right? At least that's what friends are for, you know? Mm -hmm. Taking selfies to commemorate that kind of a moment. There we go. First tactical timeout getting called here by NIP. Yeah, we can clearly see Threat doing some of the talking right now. They have two players on $1,400, one on 1700 that's get right, and then more than 2000 on the rest. But that $1,400 situation is, that's double eco territory. Exactly right, exactly right. The one thing here is that NIP needs to just have some faith in their ability to carry it back on the T side. You're going to have to take a hit here. Oh, man, are they actually going to do it? Oh. Double eco what? No, I think for, it's just Forest. Yeah. This is just, uh, they're, they're four they're of them are down to like, anyways. yeah, exactly. Four of them are down to like 800 bucks. A lot of the Eagles. The hope is there'll be a lot of headshots too. Let's see how that plays out. We are moving into the 11th round. If you're just joining us, this is the last map in the series. Quarterfinal game. Looking for a spot in the semifinals of both these teams. NIP have looked much improved with this uh, new lineup. But is it enough to take down Cloud9, who, who themselves, I would say, have been on an upward trajectory? Let's see, no grenades on NIP. So it's just going to be raw peaking. And Skadoodle rewarded for his patience. We'll find the shot. Draken. Shroud will take him down in a hail of bullets. It's going to be the remaining two. Now get right, and well, another perfect anti-eco coming out here for Cloud9. Cloud9 really just making, like for a while now, they have not been at risk of ecoing, and that's so solid from them. Just allows them to keep that pressure up on Nip. Not allow the Swedes to feel like they can get into this game whatsoever. Eight to three, and NIP once again have to go for the pistols here. And well, it, I mean, they've stacked B a few times now. It's probably worth doing it again. Just, just put everybody there. And yeah, look at this. Very quick from Draken into underpass, looking towards A long, trying to find the info over here so that his teammates can get in the best possible positions quick enough on the B site to prepare for Cloud9. One flash on Exist. He hears the footsteps, and it's going to be popped out already. Res taking a kill, but nothing following it up with. A couple of his own could have even been a triple, but Stewie stole it. Draken now, one versus three. So a little bit of damage. I mean, for, for a $200 investment, well worth it. Yeah. But that's not what they need. They don't need a couple of kills. They need rounds desperately. This is going to be bordering on the limit here for NIP. If they, they lose this round, basically, it's not if, when. 
It's going to come down to whether they can pick up the remaining three rounds in this first half on, cla on Cobblestone. It kind of quieted down, exists, not really having too much of an impact right now. Neither is Rez. And Get Right has kind of quieted down as well. So it's kills, you know, it's duels. This is what needs to come through here for NIP when these pushes from Cloud9. When Cloud9 go exploding onto the site, you have to have these guys standing up for NIP and hitting the headshots immediately. Yeah, the problem is they just they don't they don't have the grenades to take any of these fights very well. I mean, like NIP need some sort of counter to all of the shit that that, that Cloud9 are throwing out, and it's yeah. not working. Nine three. 13th round is about to commence, and NIP finally with a chance to buy some. It's not very much either. Three M4A4s, one M4A1. Grenades, there are some. It's not terrible, but um, I mean, this is the result of having so many false rounds for NIP, so they just don't have it. Molotov does come out, and they are getting funneled into it. Exists with a kill, but get right with a late Molotov kill on Stewie as well. Now it's three versus four, and the bomb is about to go down, although automatic is just on eight health. One grenade would do it, and Draken has one. Is he going to be able to find the right target? Oh. He's coming in from behind. In fact, in Forest gets the kill on automatic. Draken turning around for what he thought might have been a flashbang. Headshot instead from nothing, leaving it in a 2 on 2. Cloud9, it would be merciless if they pick up this round. NIP would again be crushed economically and have almost no chance. Skadoodle gets the kill on Get Right, and now it's all on rest. One versus two, swinging out. Skadoodle to steal it with a triple. And now Cloud9. Six rounds away from making it to the semi-finals of one of the biggest tournaments they've played in. In quite some time. <laughs> it feels like it's been quite some time since we've seen Skadoodle at this level. It's such a pleasure to watch. He's 14 and 5 as a scoreline. And it's just most of his frags he's getting, they're just high impact frags. They're making the difference. You gotta give it to nothing in that round. The shot on Draken, just so swift. But more importantly, at eliminating the flank for NIP and the retake, that changes everything. But how Scott hits that shot on Get right there and survives. No way. <laughs> He's so dialed in right now, it's unreal. Well, Let's double digits. I mean, this is, this is horrifying. Yeah, this is where there, there, are, there are no more ecos for NIP, you know. You, you have to just go for the buy no matter what you can do here. You have to commit. And so Draken just barely has the AWP. Listen, there weren't any Ecos earlier either for NIP. <laughs> that, was, that was part of the problem. Well, well, at least the chicken oh. gets the NIP fans a bit excited. That smoke is obviously supposed to land on the other side of the wall. Oh, Stewie charging right down. How did he get that much speed? Forrest. Now trying to back up, but there is a guy flanking him as well. Automatic is waiting for Forrest, and he still wins the fight. That's some sloppy counter strike coming out of Automatic. Maybe nothing could do him one better. He's actually going to go down to exist right after Forrest with a flank. Goes down to Shroud. It's all over the place. This is some ugly counter strike. Cloud9, this time it doesn't feel like they are coming out on top, although Shroud, they didn't know where he was, and he's going to get the quick kill. Bomb is out there. They haven't seen it, though. They don't know that it hasn't been picked up yet, NIP. There's a chance here for Shroud. This is unbelievable. Both teams needed to just take a damn breath and pause for a minute. NIP have allowed this to get into a situation where Shroud could win. But they're ready and waiting, and Dragon's got the angle. Not going to miss it in the end. Excitement all around. If NIP can pick up a fifth round, maybe, just maybe, there's a chance to make it back, although I, I, I honestly feel like Cloud9 are hitting a really high level at this point in time. They missed some kills there. Mm -hmm. Automatic probably should have just won against Forrest, and, yeah. and he wouldn't have got the next kill either in the middle. So I think that's the key frag of the whole encounter, is Automatic allowing Forrest to live there. But uh, sometimes that's just the way it goes. Humans are fallible. They make mistakes. And well, now, 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 there's a chance for 11-4 here for Cloud9. If NIP can bring it back, Get it to five. We're still within striking distance here for NIP to run it back. And it, I mean, I guess it's fitting, right? We have to have 10-5 now at the first half. It's pretty much like almost a rule between both of these teams. That's just how it has to go. Ah. That's a good start. Drake and sniping one. Actually doing damage to nothing. Who's the top fragger right now? That's good news. And get right, we'll follow it up. Easy kill with a UMP. Now five versus three. Time for everyone again on NIP side to just calm down. There's no flank this time. They're all going to go for the regular retake. Draken goes down. Shroud had a chance for a double spray. I don't think they were quite ready for that. 
It le still leaves Skadoodle and Automatic in quite an awful position here. Oh, and it no. fails. Messes up his molly. No chance. Well, there it is. He needed to win that fight again. Automatic, not quite hitting it. It's Ska, though, and anything is possible when this man is alive, but he misses it. For a second, you believe that he's going to hit that shot on Forrest. Well, Forrest this time dodges the bullets. Well, there it is. 10-5 for the first half here in the last map of the series. It's been amazing so far. You don't want to miss this. We're going to go to a quick break when we come back. It is the second half coming up between Cloud9 and NIP. Stay tuned. Siapa lagi nak bar? I have to. The cycle of retardierna de brusha. Sorry. Is this? Sorry. I haven't tried this. Is this for the coach? What a view that was on the threat. If you're an inspiring, aspiring Counter-Strike player, that's got to be what you're aiming through. Walking up for that crowd of people giving out high fives to everybody. It's 10-5 once again. Cloud9 in the lead. They just need six more rounds and they're going to make it to the semi-finals. If you're just joining us, this is the final map and the final half coming up now. And actually, 
pretty much no no utility at all for nip they want to go hard at this but already automatic with one a second as well looking for the third and he's got a couple of bullets left six of them in fact and he lands the one on the assist turning around automatic unbelievable it's get right in forest left one clicks for days, Anders. One clicks for days. This man is here to do some damage. He hasn't taken a single point yet. Nothing finds a headshot on Get Right as well in the meantime. And while Automatic, he's still controlling the bomb. They know exactly where the last man is here for NIP. Surprised to see that the rotation is taking so long, but now the rest have joined the party, only to get shot in the face. Sure enough, it has to be Automatic to end this. Nope, not gonna happen. Stewie is there to be the hero. And this is a rough start for NIP. They win the pistol 11 to five, the score. See, it says danger right there on the, sh on the, on the sign. So NIP could have known. <laughs> well aware, man, well aware. Hell, North Americans call it danger. Now we know why. It's automatic stomping ground. Although, of course, that's going to be particularly painful for him because he was playing a lot from danger as well in the first half. So I, but give us a chance, man. Give us a chance. And automatic just jumping all over the place, making quite a bit of noise. There was also a moment there where you have to wonder, so three of them are coming through middle, the other two are coming in from long instead. Now, why aren't they there to shoot automatic in the back, like, soon, you know, right after? Yeah. That's supposed to be sort of a pincer on him, or at least should evolve into that as soon as they realize where he is. And that was just very disjointed for an IP. Could well cost them this map. 11-5, first half, there was a lot of trading going on in the early rounds. We'll see if Cloud9 can lock this down and cruise all the way into the semi-finals. Oh, it is looking like it's going to be the A hit. Pretty self-evident now that Nip with all five and the bomb have cleared out A long. They've got underpass control as well. Two players here holding very close on Cloud9's side. Not a huge fan of this. You're putting yourself at risk of getting one shot with the pistols. I mean, Forrest has got the Deagle. Skadoodle holding up close with the MP7. Needs to get one, but it's a one and done spot. There's nothing else. Automatic has to stay alive at all costs. The rotation needs to come through, and his teammates not quite able to because the smoke is blocking off connector. It's not bad. A big problem is Shroud still holding back here. Get right trying to charge down with the scout. And not missing. Oh, not hitting the kill somehow. I have no idea how he not didn't at least get a body shot in. And it will be Shroud tapping away towards the end. So good round from NIP in, in some case, but. Um, they need, to, they need to turn these rounds. They don't need to get close. They need to actually win them. A team ace for Cloud9. Everybody just picking up the one kill before getting traded. Wasn't until the end there. All right, 12 to 5. Four rounds away from the semifinals, Cloud9. And NIP, they've got a long way to go here. They've invested in P250s. Okay, they need to get a bomb plant, though. They just haven't been able to get anywhere close to the site itself. It's like they're getting in the same, you know, time zone, Anders, right? Same zip code. They need to find the correct address, though. Yeah, for that bomb plan, it really helps out. It seems like we have more of a normal beginning to, to this second half here. So from Cloud9's point of view, that's just fine. If Threat has any crazy strats, anything like that, I mean, he's not saving them for the major. Um, if anyone is, certainly not them. We'll see what uh, what they can come up with here. Just rub it in. I think they, they must have... Uh, they've, they've had quite a while to think about that. Settle in on the situation. Stewie ends up going down to Rez. Long range as well. That was over a B. Nice shots from Rez. Forrest up close to the P250. Might be able to catch Skadoodle out in the open here. He's going to walk right into him. And sadly for him, he was checking for the boost, in fact. I like it. Shroud, though, going to spot the Cascade coming in from Connector. Takes the bomb. Has bomb control. Skadoodle's there to back him up as well. And it just falls apart. Matter of seconds. Automatic. Pretty sure he had the footsteps from Get Right. What is this? Okay, they eventually get the kill. But there's just like the bottlenecking Connector there where they're all just stomping on each other. Body blocking each other. That's no good. 13 to 5 for Cloud9. Maybe the last chance here for NIP to make an impact. It would be... It would be quite the comeback if they could make this work. Not necessarily the craziest one that we've ever seen, but um, when the stakes are this high, it becomes so much more difficult to actually get that many consecutive rounds. Mm -hmm. Oh, with Cloud9. I mean, Cloud9 did it on train. Nip should be able to do it here on Cobble. But they're on T side. And so it's going to take some clever stuff here. And you're right. This is where Threat would shine. The tactician. You saw it too. They did blur it out a little bit when he was wearing the, uh, yeah. the body cam. But the man takes notes. He is ready. Pretty deep grenades coming in from the Cloud9 side, and also 
Bit of a forward push from Exist. Can they lurk in a kill somewhere? They've got a good weapon situation. They've got plenty of grenades still left. But Cloud9 aren't going to give them anything right now. Gizzy Forest has been waiting on the other side of the map the whole round, just hoping that someone would eventually come and peek him. And it hasn't happened yet. Looks like Automatic is going to fall back as well. So Yeah, I'm not a fan of Automatic holding onto the MP7. But at least he is going to try and back off. But that's the thing. With the MP7, it means that he kind of has to stay aggressive. So does that mean connector play for him? Which is weird, because you can... You might have to tap into underpass or into slope, and that can be tricky with the uh, SMG. I'd almost like them just hide at the back of the site. Be the man there to deny the bomb plant when they do push. I thought they were going to try and pinch off through drop and long, but instead it looks like they're just going to go straight to the A-bomb site. Here come NIP with 30 seconds, and there's the opening. Draking taking down one. Now the rotation is starting to happen. Automatic trying to take that fight. He's going to win it with the MP7. Swaps out for the AK. And now he's oh. close to the site. He nearly gets oh. exist. That was... Very close to being a kill. Nothing is going to take. Only the one. And now it's a one on three. So Stewie, a lot of trouble for him. Don't see him making it out of this one. And IP can hide for a very long time on this map. They shouldn't try and take the fight with him at all. No. Get right. We'll close it out. <laughs> yeah, I think Get right is like, actually, we will. I know what needs to happen here. You need to get a bullet in your head. Tactical timeout being called now by Cloud9. Even if they just lose the one round, but they want to settle everyone down. They have the money to buy on four out of five members. So it's not really it's not really that bad. Stewie, I don't think anyone dropped anything on the ground, but maybe no. That was just tough for uh, Cloud9. This is what's so difficult about this map when you're playing CT side. You have so few opportunities to get information, to make information plays like on cash or on train where you can push aggressively to figure out where the terrorists are coming from. Cobble, it's the same issue through and through. And so you really do have to have those mid-round calls. It's almost just like a gut feeling on CT side where it's like, it's going to be B or it's going to be A set up this way because we saw what happened there. Skadoodle was alone on the site, on the B site. Cloud9, they just made the wrong call. They've got such a big lead right now on the American side. All they need to do is slow it down, make sure they keep fighting with enough weaponry. They just need three more rounds. And they will go one step further. Join now in the semi-final. KWP and Skadoodle. Not that aggressive with it right now. Just going to be holding back for the moment. And I don't really blame them either. I mean, this is um, not such a bad idea for Cloud9. Just try and see if maybe NIP will, will give them the opening frag. If anyone peeks this plateau against Scar, maybe that's all they need. He sees the gun barrel. How frustrating. And he doesn't miss the shot. So close. But he will execute, and now it is the full execute. Onto the B side, Stewie, run and gun with the 5-7, eventually gets the kill. And Skadoodle is there to keep him alive as well. Somehow, Cloud9 hold, and it's flawless so far. Draken not even going to be around for long himself. Two for Stewie, three for Skadoodle. And that much closer to a spot in the semis. You see a sm smile on Skadoodle's face as well. Showing emotion? Yeah, it's very good. And for NIP, you could tell that that was like a... That was like a moment of almost panic, you know. They lose rest and they think, oh, we, I guess we have to go. Let's just run for this, you know. And everyone was waiting for them on the other side. 14-6, economic reset for NIP. Only get right could buy an AK if you wanted to. This is, uh, I mean, in terms of comebacks, that's a, that's a death note right there. How do you get back from that? Mm -hmm. It's just, you have to get into the zone. That one round at a, t at a time mentality where you just don't even know what score it is anymore. You're just playing. Still have margin for error in the sense that they can let Cloud9 win one more round. Battle for overtime. But Cloud9, look at that. I mean, the state of their economy is fantastic. They're looking so good right now. Full buy. They should have full kits. They have the money for it. So cutting some corners. Whereas Nip, it is that AK, and it's dragging with the scout. And a default approach here from NIP. Spread out across the map, just waiting. Trying for the early peak was Skadoodle, but since he doesn't immediately get the kill, probably a better move to just try and fall back here. What can NIP do? What's a good strat to pull out when you're this far behind? The one with lurking into plateau, I mean, maybe you're a little bit at the mercy of 
someone finding the opening kill in that kind of scenario. Last round they had the grenades, this time they don't, so doing any kind of an execute is so much more difficult. And Cloud9 are about to realize that as well. There's only going to be one smoke coming in on Get Right, that's all they can throw down. Is that going to be enough to stop anyone? Automatic from this tiny fortress to pick up Forest. Draken trying with a flick, it looks like he almost had it, but that's the bomb down. Automatic with a double, he's being forced back, and at least Get Right can pick him up, but a disastrous turn of events here for NIP. Cloud9, so close to being able to celebrate, so close to making it. Yeah, but this is actually, this is painful for Cloud9. They still have a smoke on Get Right, and now they have an extra rifle to work with as well, because Automatic was forced out into the open. Cloud9, they fully rotated over to A, and it does look like NIP. This is going to be the decision. Pointy letter it is. Three players, the bomb, and a dream. 20 seconds left, and there are two players holding solid on the site, including an AWP. Already some attention getting drawn. The shot goes through. It's a leg shot on Exist. Looks like he should have been a dead man. Instead, Skadoodle and Shroud. Well, no, it's just Shroud doing the work. Two kills for him. All on Get Right, and it's not meant to be. Triple for Shroud in the key round. And two kills from Automatic as well, just doing the work. Absolutely beautiful. They're playing this so well, Cloud9. You have to admire it. That late sort of flashbang that just goes straight up in the air, when there's only 12 seconds left, I mean, that can cause a lot of panic, right? Uh, you don't really have time to wait and, you know, hide from the flash and all that stuff. You really need to get right, on, right onto the site. Map and match point here for Cloud9. They're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. They need one more round, and they will have made it to the semifinals. And NIP to stop it from happening. They've got Tech Nines, a couple of grenades, but really not all that much. What a journey we have all been on here with Cloud9 for uh, the last couple of months. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really a huge improvement. Stewie taking over the in-game leader role and everything seems to be going so much better. Shroud hitting one shot, nothing with the next. Automatic picking up for us. They need two more kills. Shroud gonna get one and now get right the last. He goes south and Cloud9 make it to the semifinals at ESL 1 Cologne.